Are you single and lonely? Have you been trying to date? Is the one thing holding you back the fear you might end up with a horse girl? To spot a horse girl, you first must know the types. There are three categories of horse girls. The equestrian, the farmer's daughter, and the feral animal. Now that we know the types, let's talk about identifying the clothing. Horse girls are often seen in the following. Jeans, braids, riding pants, sweaty curls from wearing those weird helmets, vests, boots, and flannel button-ups. Has your girl said one of the following phrases? I mean, yeah, I grew up riding horses, but I wasn't like rich or anything. No, I believe we have a soulmate, all of us on this earth. And mine's a horse. Because two feet move your body, but four feet move your soul. Horseback riding 100% is a sport, and here's why. Well, boy, you got a wild horse girl on your uncalloused hands. Some important notes for you to remember out there in the real world trying to spot a horse girl. Ahem! One, they don't actually have to ride horses in order to be considered a horse girl. And not everyone who rides horses is a horse girl. Number two, while they spend most of their time in a stable, they're usually unstable. I'm not kidding, they're off. Three, they'll often be spotted trying too hard to be one of the guys or a guy's girl, but they're just really on a high horse. And all that means is they're high maintenance. Four, they will post a two to three paragraph or two to three page essay about their horse's passing, which is weird because when their uncle died, they just posted an emoji. And last, here are some things that definitely have horse girl energy. Taylor Swift, Miller High Life, the show Glee, Lululemon, Lavender, Christianity, <laughs> Books, socialism, packed lunches. I hope this helped. Come back next week where we help women out with car guys. And remember, horse girls and fish men reproduce and create bike families.